What's the difference between an ENTJ and an ESTJ? Well, if you put a piece of IKEA furniture together right the first time because you followed the pictures in the instruction booklet to a T, then you're probably an ESTJ. An ENTJ would need to buy a few units because they're going to experiment around to see which configuration was the best. What? You can't expect an ENTJ to obey a stupid piece of paper. This type was suggested by Braulio ZT. If you would like to help me pick what type combo to compare next, comment down below. Both ENTJs and and ESTJs are super bossy, hardworking types who expect you to work hard too. In other words, they're both jerks. Both types have the first same and last cognitive functions of TE in the front with FI rock in the back. So they're both super logical thinkers who don't understand or care about your emotions, but it's the middle functions that divide them. ESTJs have SI and NE as their middle functions, while ENTJs have NI followed by SE, which spells nice, which which isn't really helpful, but it's funny. So it's clear there are differences, but they're also very subtle. And the good news is I have three easy ways to tell these types apart. Traditional versus inventional. If that's not a word, it should be. ESTJs are very traditional souls. Why reinvent the wheel? Simply put, if it ain't broke, then it works. You don't need to fix something that works, you dummy. This means ESTJs can get stuck in their ways, but they have convincing reasons for their ways. If they get rid of the typewriter, then not only will they have to buy a computer, but a printer too. And we all know how frustrating printers can be. Plus, some employees might use the PC for unscrupulous activity. ENTJs, on the other hand, are always looking for ways to up their game. And they think the best way to do that is to try all the new things and question the old systems. ENTJs won't throw out the baby with the bathwater though. They see the problems with new ideas. They think giving an ESTP internet access at work is probably a bad idea. But ENTJs love the struggles of finding things that work. And ESTJs love the feeling of everything working. So there's no need to change what already works. Workaholics versus almost workaholics. We've already mentioned that ENTJs and ESTJs are hard workers, and they are. To both types, nothing quite beats the feeling of a crossed off checklist and sitting on top of the work pyramid, looking down at all the people you surpassed. But ESTJs have SI in their second slot, so they know that self-care is important, whereas SI is the blind spot function for an INTJ. So taking care of themselves is a bit of a hard thing to grasp. They might do some self-care stuff like exercise, but that's more about about having a six pack so they can beat a bear in a fight as opposed to exercising to be actually healthy. Rebel versus Obeyer. ENTJs kind of hate rules. No, I take that back. They hate rules completely. It's not so much that they hate the idea of rules, it's that they hate stupid rules. And naturally, any rule that doesn't come from them is a stupid rule. ESTJs love rules because they help create stability. Rules are other people doing the legwork for you. And well, ENTJs might like the struggle of that, ESTJs don't. Sadly, ESTJs are NI blind, which means they can fail to see certain patterns. A system they support might have some significant problems that they just won't see. It's like they're stuck in Groundhog Day, but because they're just a background character, they have no idea what's going on. When it comes to dishing out authority, ENTJs like to win people over. You're rarely going to hear them say, because I told you so. But to an ESTJ, because I told you so is all you should really need. This isn't a democracy, their rule is law. So if you question them or disobey, they are gonna get pretty upset. Are you still having a hard time telling these two types apart? No worries, I made a video on both the ENTJ and ESTJ. Click on them here. I've been Travel Knight, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys all next time.